is how I made this DIY sunflower butter with just one ingredient. If you're interested in it, please keep Good watching. Everybody, it's Tommy coming at you with a quick DIY. Today's DIY is going to be on how to make your own sunflower butter. It's a, like a peanut butter alternative and it doesn't have most of the allergens in this specific one. So, you know, like how tree nuts have the allergies and different things like that. Sunflower, since they come from the sunflower, you know, the seeds doesn't have the allergens. But anyways, we're going to get straight into it. I got about two cups of roasted sunflower seeds. And if you have pre-roast sunflower seeds, that's fine. But if you're trying to like do them from scratch, just get you some sunflower seeds. Uh, lightly coat your baking tray in something that where the seeds won't get too burned at the bottom, like some type of oil. And then you just let them roast by itself. Or if you don't want to use oil on it, you could just let them roast by themselves. This process uh, brings out the natural oils in the sunflower seed to even make it into the process of it becoming sunflower butter. So let's get into it. going to pour mine in here. And yes, I'm using my daughter's baby food maker that she used to use. My food processor is so small, so got to update, upgrade. And we're going to just so we're gonna let that go for a while like this kind of like a little fine crumbly powder but you're going to keep processing this good. we're not fully done but this is how it should look on the second phase and the third phase i'm going to show you what it sunflower seeds but I will say this if you have a small food presser uh, if you have a small food processor or a small blender it's going to take a lot of manipulation for it to get done this way but if you have like a nice size one you should be fine but yes this is the sunflower butter nice and creamy this is good on toast graham crackers apple dips there you have it, sunflower butter.